Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today we are going to be building ourselves some rotor suspensions. Um, it's great for vehicles and great for terrain driving, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, so here I have my platform that I've been using for that for most of my builds actually. So uh, we're going to lay down uh, landing gear. And it's probably not the best place to put it down, but yeah, we're going to do that. Anyway, first off, we're going to start off with the base of our vehicle. That's where the cockpit's going to sit. So I'm going to go three blocks up and kind of do four blocks over maybe five blocks because I want to place a battery right here standing up and then a cockpit like right in front of that. So let's do something like this okay now again this will require a programming block so just remember to uh, put that in uh, the in-game scripts and once we get this going we are gonna put a rotor for the front suspension so let's pop that in here and remember to lock the rotor so you don't screw yourself over so I'm gonna lock the rotor for now just so when I build stuff it won't rotate by accident then the rear you could build whatever you want so I'm gonna probably place one block here and start doing my wheels so seven would be my right wheel let's pop down a rear wheel here and six would be my left wheel right over here and for the rotor suspension uh, I'm gonna put a couple of more blocks and kind of put the suspension right there so let's do that now this isn't like i said the best design but this is it gets you it gets to a point so we know what we're doing here all right now that we have all the wheels in place and uh rotor suspension here we need to put our programming block which i'm going to lay down right in front or it could be anywhere else it doesn't really matter but yeah let's put that here and again I'm gonna leave the link down in the description below to what the script we're using and I believe this is called uh, let me see there you go SWCS whip subgrip wheel control script all right so I'm gonna copy this to the editor and I am gonna hit OK now it automatically detects the uh, wheels so this way if i go forward you could see that it's actually going to run the wheels in the front if we don't have that script it's actually not going to run the wheels at all so now that we got our suspension going and pretty much everything all set we could give this a try now if i was to fall off this platform oh, you know what let me disable rotor lock because and I do have to lower this down to almost nothing because I don't want it to like aggressively not turn so as soon as I fall down you see the rotor is actually gonna start taking place and it gives me more control of the grip oh, let me turn off my steering on the rear but you can see what it's doing it's actually giving me more grip either in front or in back because I'm able to actually get the rotor to spin. That means all four of my wheels are actually contacting the ground at one time and it fixes itself. You see that? So this is basically what you would use um, this suspension for rough terrains and stuff like that because it allows you to drive over stuff and still maintain grip see that that is amazing that is like what exactly what we need on stuff when we're driving around like bad terrain oh that went a little bit too quick it does have a decency to spin over if you don't have the suspension on correctly i mean the you know what I mean the suspension um, power but that's basically what we're aiming for and that's the easiest way to put this together <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I mean, you could put more wheels in front, you could put more wheels in back, uh, you could use bigger wheels, but this is overall what we are trying to achieve, the suspension rotor, uh, the rotor suspension. One thing you don't want to do is actually put a rotor in front or in back. So let me show you a quick example of that. If I was to build a vehicle and put it down as, let me see. Let me try to see if I could do it really quick. And if I was to do something like this, all right. Rotor in front, rotor in back, and say a cockpit, right? And some sort of battery. I'm just gonna use a small one for now, that should be fine. Finish building the front and rear. Just to give you guys more of an example what happens if you do try to do like the double suspension like what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, let me lock the rotors because as soon as I put wheels on there, it is going to tip over. So this is the right sign. There you go. The left side. And then I'll do the programming block with that script. There you go, hit OK, and watch what happens. As soon as I drop this down, pop into this, change over to my rotors and unlock them. And then, lower the torque like I would on the other vehicles that's what happens I basically can't <laughs> maintain the height it just falls over <laughs> yeah so that's why you don't want to use two rotors front and rear you just tip over like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick little tutorial on how to get rotor suspensions working. Uh, I really do like using this a lot on my terrain vehicle drivings and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys uh, like this video, please hit that like button and remember to subscribe. See you guys next time.